something that oh, by the way hi my name is Julia so in today's clip I'm gonna speak upon the Weibo photo ready powder something you might want to know about me is that I am very fussy with my powders I'm gonna start off by saying I have normal skin I used to have mm, oily skin not even combination I don't know what happened property I don't know adulthood but now I have normal skin like I I might be oily now a bit because I, literally this ring light makes me sweat like crazy but I'm not oily I have normal skin my pores are so tiny and powder for me was a hustle to kind of like find and enjoy and I want to speak to you about this Weibo photo ready press prepare and finish loose powder this has four compartments and as you can see it looks gimmicky it looks really really gimmicky and i bought it and i was really surprised by the outcome so that's why i decided to do a dedicated video for it showing how i apply it and discuss at the end my honest thoughts about it so without further ado i invite you to watch me applying the powder so the things you need to apply this powder at least in my experience and i actually have normal skin so bear that in mind i don't use that much powder i don't need it that much but i need to set the foundation in place so i have here two real techniques brushes this is the setting brush this tiny one dainty 402 and I have here the blush brush. I didn't even know this is a blush brush. What the hell? Um, but I use it for powder all over the face because it's quite like spread out that it allows me to just not get too much heaviness into my skin. But under the eye area, I actually quite need that because I have wrinkles. It, it is what it is. So uh, that's how I apply any kind of like setting powder. A loose setting powder but yeah we are gonna apply today the Weibo and I'm gonna discuss with you more into it so yeah let's let's apply so this has four compartments and it has a green pink yellow and white color and basically what it happens is all of them it's, it's a bit of a dusty dust uh, that's what it is with loose powders but as you can see here it actually combines all of them into one place and initially i thought this is just such a gimmicky thing but don't worry no pink no green no anything color it's gonna turn on your skin it's actually just gonna be you know just a sitting powder a translucent one so let's apply it underneath the eye area because i can already see i'm getting some lines can you see them so i'm gonna just rectify them as such and now onto the powder so I go also down just like concealer like the old-fashioned way but just with powder this actually smells really nice but it is a very dense smell to it so bear that in mind however it does not bother me whatsoever and I also go <coughs> it does bother me only a bit when I apply it to the nose but seriously you're not gonna feel it after the application process is just the moment you obviously dust it around and I do dust it on my nose as well just as such and around my chin and now I'm taking the blush brush apparently and I'm just gonna dip into it as such and just kind of like dust a teeny tiny bit just like so nothing too crazy because like i said i have normal skin and i really don't need the setting side too much something that you can notice about the, this powder is that it doesn't take away the shine like it like not the shine the glow because i feel when you say shine uh you think about like a greasy ass face no, I'm talking about like the glow from within. It doesn't take it. It's a really nice finish to it. But without further ado, let me just apply my whole face, like eyes, everything in between. Let's be fancy. And I'm gonna come back to tell you what I feel about this powder, if I do recommend it. Um, yeah, everything that I kind of like discovered with it from the time I've used 
which is quite a lot because I didn't have it for a couple of months. Right, so now that we finished applying the powder, I must say this is actually much better than my favorite, all-time favorite Letty London Red Seed Go powder. I still love that one, but I feel this gives me a more radiant finish, more luminous. It has a bit of a shimmer into it. It's more like silk feeling uh, than the one from Letty London. That one is still good, but I feel if you want a radiant finish, this is perfect. If you want a matte finish, the Letty London uh, Ready Set Go powder is much suitable for that. But um, nevertheless, I was really surprised because seriously, it looks so gimmicky. Like I remember I got it because it was an offer. This is like 10 pounds and I think I got it for half price or something. And yeah, uh, I really, really like it. I do recommend it. Unfortunately, I don't think you find Weibo in the UK. But if you find Weibo where, wherever you are uh, in this world, I think you should try this powder because I, I just got it on a whim. I was like, yeah, it's not, it probably is not going to, I'm just going to, I don't know. I like the packaging and I was like, probably it's gonna be shit, but it, it's not. It's actually one of my favorite powders. I tend to go for this one more because I really like the radiant finish because I have normal skin, so I'm kind of like missing the, the bit of a glow. Or maybe it's just in my head because to be completely, completely honest, I actually have glowy skin, but I always want more glow. So, uh, finishing off, I actually found their pressed version so if you want to see this one reviewed stay close because i'm gonna do a review about it this is exciting it's actually like it has let me show you quickly quickly it actually has like green pink white and yellow like the actual powder but it's just pressed so i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna use this one but it's the same price as the loose powder and yeah i just got it because again it looks gimmicky will i be surprised we will see so if you enjoyed this clip and if you want to see this one let me know in the comments down below or like this video give it a thumbs up because it helps me out and maybe subscribe you might be surprised you might enjoy my content i actually put my heart and soul into it and i try my best to speak as much as possible because i always speak as much as possible in general i speak way too much and i'm here on the internet to re, re yeah to let that out let that let that go because sometimes I'm, I'm it's tiring even for me to speak this much at, at least I, I shall do it when i can help others so yeah i mean i provide you as many details possible and impossible so you can know how to spend your money so without further ado i hope you enjoyed this this clip obviously i hope you enjoyed it but i was about to say i hope you enjoyed the next clip and yeah i'll hopefully see you within the next one bye